In this video, I'm going to talk about retroing a uh, front thrust bearing on a TH350 uh, that uh, originally came in anything made in 77 and up, uh, back to all TH350s made between 69 and 76, uh, which those units took a Babbitt style selective thrust washer up here. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to measure the thickness of this thrust washer, the one that came in your unit, and then measure the thickness of the bearing and then subtract the two. And the bearing's almost always gonna be thicker. So uh, whatever that difference is, you're gonna to have to have machined off right here on the bearing surface. So in my case, I was a uh, uh, worker. I am working with a thrust washer that's 100,000 thick and a bearing that's 140,000 thick. So I had the machinist take off 50,000 because I like to build um, in a 10,000 inch buffer because I measure the bearing dry. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be that, you know, much of a difference in thickness once I silk it, but, you know, it's just something I'm used to doing. Uh, so if you don't do this, if you try to just drop the bearing in, uh, in an overwhelming majority of the cases, it's not going to fit. In other words, you're going to have uh, either a bind up or insufficient end play. And end play in these uh, transmissions in the front needs to be between 10 and 44 thousandths. And I personally like to run my end plays between 10 and 20 thousandths. That's the target zone, especially for high performance. But um, if you're less than 10 thou, then you're going to have bind ups inside the case as, you know, everything's moving around when the vehicle's in operation. So, you want to make sure that um, you machine enough off. And in worst case scenario, if you don't and it's binding up, then you can always take it back and have it, you know, returned or, you know, um, a little bit more removed. But if you don't machine it at all, then it's likely that it's not going to fit or you're going to have insufficient in place. So you just want to keep that in mind.